Big news today. The city of Denver plans to temporarily close one of its prized parks. Civic Center Park, considered the crown jewel of Denver's park system downtown. Fences are already going up off of Broadway. You'll see them down there. Michaelia White picks up our coverage after investigator Brian Moss first broke this news on CBS4 this morning. And Michaelia, the park's going to close due to safety concerns. It will, Karen, and you can see these barricades are up as of right now, and there are signs posted. Check it out. This one says this area is closed to all entry. That closure is over a slew of concerns. That includes crime, safety, and sanitation. Now, we've been out here all day, and the environment definitely tense as the city plans to shut down the park. This is what Civic Center Park looked like on Tuesday. People sleeping and camping, a woman washing her hair, and another woman appearing to shoot up drugs. One man even approached our camera with a backpack covering up the lens. Delete everything that you have of me. Safety concerns, among others, are why Parks and Recreation Deputy Director tells CBS4 the city plans to shut down the park September 15th. Gilmore tells CBS4 the closure would likely last at least two months but could go longer. His message is that, quote, we need to take back the park, noting violence in and around the park recently. A letter from the city also notes, quote, significant public health and environmental health risks. People who frequent the area had mixed opinions on the closure. Kate Mitchell tells me something should have been done sooner. To me, it hasn't changed much over the years, so I don't know why they would be closing it. I don't know why now it would be, they'd, it would be more pressing. Darius Nolte and his five-year-old son Sora live near the park. As, as someone who was homeless for, for three years um, before I had my little guy here, uh, I understand both sides. You know, all, sometimes all it takes is just one person to, to step up and help, and that could change the course of everything. Um, but at other times, there's people that'll just take advantage of the system and make everybody else look bad. Uh, we're all people, and, you know, we all have our faults, but it's sad to see it close. It really is. Now, Gilmore also tells us the park's camera system is set to be upgraded with this closure and a plan to keep park rangers here nonstop is also in the works. For now, we're live at Civic Center Park. Michaelia White covering Colorado First.